Hello everyone, welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. Guys, we have had a heck of a day. Wait till y'all see. It is Saturday. Yes. And um, we went out to garage sales this morning. We had 21 on our list. We made it to all of them, plus a couple of extras. One of them that we came upon turned out to be a huge score. So yeah, we, we have a lot of stuff to show you in this video. And then to top that off, we went and did a private pick afterwards. And that's all gonna have to go in another video. We just have so much stuff. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. Yeah. It's real. It's very ridiculous how much stuff, you, you, should I give them a pan? I'll show them, I'll show okay. them what we got. Okay, this is the state of the shed right now. And most of it is from two buys. <laughs> That's what's funny. Right, right. Yeah. It's crazy. We spent uh, we spent a little over five hundred dollars today at garage at sales. The garage sales, yeah. We spent yeah a little over five hundred dollars, and uh, let, let's jump right into this. Okay. Because I mean, this is some fun stuff. Okay, so this first stuff. Oh my gosh, we're so excited about this. We were going to a garage sale, and we passed by this other one and stopped. And this, they had this guy standing there with his this table full of stuff. So let's take a look at it. Yeah. So he had all this stuff, brand new in box. Everything sealed. Well, the stuff that came sealed, but yeah, it's all new. It's all brand new, and it. They are Kickstarter. Um, yeah, they're like indie games, but like they're RPG games. Um, and they're you can see they're all sealed. Like he, he, this guy bought every game, and then like this would be the game, and then all the expansion packs, and all the things that the extras that go with it. We have like all these sets of different games. Like this is all one type of game right here. Just yeah, like, Solomon Kane. Yeah. That's all Solomon Kane. I think they're all different, aren't they? Oh yeah, they are. Yeah, it's all the expansion packs for it. It's yeah. got like one. It's got a bunch of different boxes for Arsenal it. Arsenal box or Red Shadows. What is that? A Heart of Africa. I mean, just, yeah, all these expansion packs. And then we've got Vanguard of War. Again, yeah. same kind of deal. Yeah. There's stuff under there and behind there, too. See, like, yeah, there's the big old game. That's, That's the core game or base game, yeah. I think. Oh, look, yeah, it's yeah. got tons of stuff in there. And then you have some expansion stuff there. And then this has, like, game pieces in it or parts yeah and then we have another game called reich busters look at all the pieces to that too all the different sets and one of the things i was concerned about with this of course is uh if it had like nazi branding or something but it but it actually looks like they were very careful yeah not to have any kind of nazi branding or anything right. or it even meant like reich busters obviously that has to do with fighting the nazis i guess yeah but uh yeah there's no nothing like that and look it, they've got every everything sealed e everything that that you could get extra for it they have yeah like this is the paint the paint set to paint your figs and i mean this is the sleeves it says right buster sleeves i mean yeah. we have everything and um uh, candace you look one of them up pretty well i was having trouble finding a lot of the stuff some little base plates or something yeah and what is this is this that's some kind of like game pad but it's something? got like these clip things i'm not sure what what it is um, cargo hold back there and this th is called uh post human this game here see we got all the little parts for that there's um this is all like one thing and a lot of these have like uh little figures and stuff with them too right, right? like tabletop game type stuff well yeah you can see here's a little right. bo a bonus figure here some of this stuff since he bought it all off, off of kickstarter as like an early investor some of it never went to production or whatever so some of it is a lot more rare than it's others. like awards for early yeah like uh, bonuses right and then this is the one you first looked up right yeah and then you kind of figured out okay this stuff is like worth over 400 you saw so. this this sold for 80 right no 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 i saw this had sold for like 185 oh 185 okay that's what i saw just yeah. this comic book extras yeah. box somebody sold it for 185 dollars. you can see it's got like some figures in it and some other stuff and then candace had found when we we're out there uh candace had found this stuff 
I think you searched this and you like found some just awesome comps. Oh yeah. I hate to get too deep into like what the comps are just because we haven't had enough time to like really. It's a lot of it's very obscure. There might be like one sold, you know. Of some of it. Yeah. Yeah. So we have to go to like um, to research it like really well. We're gonna have to lean on Terra Peak a lot and uh, maybe even Worth Point. Yeah. So. But yeah, we got he we got all this on the table here everything you see for four hundred dollars yeah he was looking for 500 we comped a few things and we felt comfortable uh offering 400 and he jumped on it and he jumped as a matter of fact i'll put a clip in right here see like where the swastika would have been on the uniform i see iron crosses instead so i don't gotcha. think they used it so everything is new yeah, everything nothing's been played with or anything okay. because by the time I got him, my game group had moved out, so... Gotcha. Could you do four? <laughs> for all of it? Yeah. Sure. I'll take four for all of it. Four? Okay, cool. We got a deal. I don't know if we have the money, though. Money. How much money we got? What'd you get out of the bank today? Five. Have Five we spent a hundred yet? Okay. So, he... I, I feel like he was ready... It, it was kind of late in the day. Also, when we walked up, we were like, what is all this? We started talking to him. He goes, this stuff is great for resellers. And Monty's like, that's what we are. <laughs> like, he was ready for us to walk up. Right. We we were, like, a lot of times uh, resellers get a bad name. He was hoping a reseller would come up because he wanted to be done with it. Yeah. And he knew he was going to have to take a little beating on it. But he also knew somebody that somebody that really wanted the right busters game was not likely to walk up for themselves yeah was not likely to walk up to his, to garage, his garage sale, sale. oh i've been looking for right buster yeah let me give you 200 dollars for that yeah, you know like right. that wasn't going to happen yeah so we we were uh it was mutually beneficial right he was happy and we were very happy Ec so. ecstatic yeah <laughs> and it, i mean the the best thing is it's it's all new sealed yeah so like it makes listing it so easy you don't have to explain anything right whenever your stuff is new like that yeah. so is that just one per oh look that's just one person one character yeah look there it is right there <laughs> all that for that one little fig this is a little promo set here the scarlet promo yeah so yeah that this is the majority of the money we spent today but it's not really I, I i guess it's the bulk of the stuff we got today too yeah but we have a lot more stuff to show y'all too yeah Okay, this next part, super amount of bulk. Yeah. So you'll see all these bags. There's a box over there. These bags, this box, this bag. It's all baseball, softball stuff. Um, I think it's baseball. It's all baseball. I think yeah. it is. I'm not positive. We have like batting helmets, pads. Um, yeah, those are shin guards. We have a uh, catcher's mat. Catcher's mat. This is a whole bag full. A box of chest protectors. We have more like we have more chest protectors here. Yeah, ton of helmets. Now, a lot of the stuff is in perfect condition. And some of it is not. And some of it is not. It's all none of it's it's all new old stock, but some of it was not stored very well. Right. So, like this looks good. Yeah. To me. Yeah. But you know we'll have to go through and check everything out. Um, but yeah, it, like this box we. Has never even it's still sealed still got the factory strapping on it and Some stuff it. You but yeah it. you can see on there it's all brand new stuff in there yeah uh so, so we walk up to the garage sale and this is what we see on each bag baseball stuff two dollars bag <laughs> and so i stand by the stuff i, I get it's not that hard for me to Body get block. to get big <laughs> but i get i get kind of big and i you know I, so i can like quickly you know protect my this is mine uh, you, you know the if you if you're a reseller you understand the position i'm talking about until the deal is done you got to protect the merchandise yes you got to protect the bag he sent me after the lady and so i'm like go go get the lady go tell her we want it all and, and okay i'm sorry go ahead finish so i went and found her and i'm like hey we're interested in buying all the baseball stuff she said okay and so we walked over there that's all i told her she walks up and looks at it. She goes, how about $10 for everything? We never even asked her. We're like, sold. Yeah. It was it was, it was $16 worth of stuff. If you right. Yeah, uh, so. But we weren't trying to lower the price. We were going to pay the $16, but... However, 
we also aren't real good at offering more money when we don't have to and and like lonnie said there is condition issues on right. some of it so um like i like one candace like some of the stuff just wasn't stored well yeah. candace found one of the batting helmets actually that's a catcher's helmet is that what it is yeah because i think this is made for the mask to go for the mask okay. to go on so you see it's maybe, a little league we might have all catcher's gear yeah i think we do so look at okay so you have that and look at the strap on this one. yeah so, this one is like all dry rotted and yeah. stuff and this one is not yeah so, we, so don't that know one, how, we don't know how much we have that's good and how much is not we have a ton i think we, i think most of it is good i've only seen a few pieces that were really bad yeah so uh yeah ten dollar can y'all believe that i couldn't believe it like we and that was a little it it wasn't early in the day but it was before we bought the um it was before we bought this stuff it was one of our first sales like our third or fourth sale and we were like man that's a score we thought th this was going to be the score of the day yeah but it wasn't <laughs> now we have to just figure out where we're going to put it all we're going to get this stuff listed monday so we can go ahead and bring it to storage um because there's we just it's kind of late already honestly yeah there's a lot of people playing baseball already right so yeah we we have we, to get it out. We can't store it anymore. Like we've already, like Candace, the past two weeks we've been selling all of our gloves. Every time we list a glove, it sells. So yeah. I feel like, yeah, we got to get this stuff up. ASAP. And it may already be too late. Yeah. So let's look at some more stuff. All right, that's your thing, Candace. What you got here? Um, these are some cast iron. We bought. We went to this church sale where it was two ladies. I thought they were nuns, but it wasn't a Catholic church, so I guess they're not nuns. But it said that they were kind of retiring. And this sale was like their lifelong accumulation of stuff. And um, they had these two cast iron. Now this- They're heavy too, Yeah, man. this one is John Wright, 1996. I couldn't find a comp. Um, and then this one is ironclad. It's like Christmas. They had 10 each on them. I asked them if they'd take five and they said yes. I'm thinking uh, minimum 25 each on them, but I have seen so heavy. I've seen some of this John Wright stuff go for high amounts. Is this uh, casting USA? Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. And then this is um, Ironclad brand. It's got a special coating on it or something. Yeah. It's not quite as heavy as the pineapple. Yeah. The pineapple is like feels really especially heavy. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much that matters. Okay, so then uh, we went to a, a, a different church sale, and I found all these wrestlers in a box. Nothing was priced. We went up there, and she said a dollar a piece. So we paid the dollar a piece. Oh, this little Lala Loopsie was in there, too. Well, one shoe Loopsie. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if she's, oh, she is supposed to, it's a cast. Oh, it's a cast. Yeah. Okay. So, that's from 2011. I don't, I don't know if the older Lala Loopsie stuff is worth anything. We're about to find out. Yeah. Uh, I paid this was also from that church sale where Candace got that the cast iron yeah paid two dollars for that and I paid a dollar for these dominoes club tournament dominoes yep. so it looked like a nice little set to me I, I figured we could probably sell it maybe, they're maybe. Heavy. They're man heavy. look how big they are yeah they're big and heavy some big chunky dominoes there so I don't know what this is we don't it's use... cribbage oh cribbage thing okay so I paid a dollar for that um we got this hat I paid that. You paid six? I paid that much. It's kind of cool. Look, it's, it's got kind of cool. patches on it. I thought it was awesome. Yeah. I don't know what it's worth. I have no clue. I found us some bookends for the cookbooks for a dollar. They're not really the good ones, though. I wanted something low profile, slim, that could slide under them. Instead of just where you don't have this part and they it in, the books end up pushing the bookend. Yeah. I wanted something that would go under. So that'll work well. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I have two of them, so I figured one for each shelf. Yeah. Know? Okay. And I can, maybe I can move the non-book stuff off of that top shelf up there. By the time you get your, um, all your cookbooks listed, you're going to be probably about 80% of those two shelves will be full. Yeah. Unless we have, well, a couple of those have sold over there couple of cookbooks but yeah. we got some uh born shoes for two dollars they look pretty new they were only worn maybe once or a couple of times you know the soul some still... penny loafers yep some little suede penny loafers and when i was when i was in high school i had some kind of you had uh, some not not born these are fake penny loafers look you can't put a penny in them oh i'm trying to remember the brand i had they're posers <laughs> 
I'm trying to remember the brand I had of penny loafer. Do you know? You remember when penny? Oh, yeah. When they were a thing, though, like we were like in middle school. They were no. I was in high school. You were in high school. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, there was kind of a thing for a while. Okay, I'm not at your school it was. No, they were. Okay. Um, I can't remember the brand, but they, a lot of people wore them. Mm -hmm. And then that was also back in the day when uh, a lot of people would wear uh, same time frame. Uh, I also had Reebok pumps. Didn't have those. I do remember them. Yeah. yeah. And then also had uh, K Swiss was big mm -hmm. around then. You, did you have K Swiss? I wore like tree torn. I had some uh, tree torns. Some cane. Is it kangaroos? The ones with the little pocket, the little zipper pocket. Kangaroos were a thing, more of a thing when I was in elementary school. I thought. No. Yeah middle school maybe middle school yeah but high school they weren't they they weren't a thing I'm anymore i'm trying to remember if i even wore tennis shoes in high school i was kind of in the hair band phase uh, you wear I, boots or I something i wore boots a lot yeah really oh yeah i had the leather jacket did you wear doc martens no no uh I, I don't i don't think they were a thing here at that time were they they probably were probably Not I had like, yeah, no, I wore like the little mini skirts, like I had like zebra print mini skirt and stuff, you know, like mm, okay. really classy stuff. Yeah, sounds like <laughs> it. Sounds like it. Um, okay, here's my bad buy of the day. I, for some reason, I, I remembered this being worth more than it is. Um, I paid five and it's only worth 15. Well, in fairness, you didn't, you didn't know it was going to cost five because that was at that church that was sale. At the same sale as this also, one. and then we, it's in it, we're in a spot where we're just trying to get out of there. I really thought it was worth like 30 to 40. I, my, my memory on the price was, I would have just looking at it, I would have guessed it was worth yeah. more. So, yeah. all right, I did but see where okay. somebody sold their arms for like 12 bucks. That's almost what the whole thing goes for. <laughs> Isn't that but, crazy? While Candace is putting some stuff away, we did actually look up the uh, pineapple pan. I'm thinking that's probably like $35 to $40 for that one. So that ended up being a terrific buy. This is probably one of the later sales we went to, right, on this? I think it may have been the last. It was the last buy. Maybe it last. It might have been the last one. The last or second to last sale. Yeah, so I go up and they have all these Blu-rays in here. I don't even know how many it is. I have no idea. Some of them are sealed. A lot of them are sealed. Yeah. Um, look, Yogi Bear. Look, look, they only paid six ninety five for it. But um, they're Warcraft 4K Ultra HD. But um, anyways, they were asking two dollars a DVD, uh, not a DVD per Blu-ray, and uh, I said, well, do you want to sell all of them? And they he said 25 and i went ahead and took i went ahead and bought it for 25. yeah i figured i could make some good lots out of these yeah and, there's uh, some kid movies like here's the three ice age right here right yeah right i figured i could make some nice lots and i did look through a few and they were in really good condition mm -hmm. um so yeah michael jackson movie yep. i don't know we'll see how, how how do you think we did on this one then here's another bundle deal you did. Um, these are all like RPG type books, right? Well, not that one. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of these uh, Dragonlance books. Like they're um, Dungeons and Dragons novels, right? There's a ton of those in there. Mm -hmm. And then there's a few other series in there too, fantasy type series. Yeah. Like this is a box set of something. Um, Stormlight I paid, Archive. Yeah, I paid twenty-five dollars for that whole box of books. Not sure. I mean, these two media buys here, I'm not sure that I did awesome on them, but I think they're pretty solid. I think they're pretty solid buys. Um, let me see how many DVDs are in here. I'm curious. So there are fifty-five Blu-rays in here, and I would say maybe like ten to fifteen are still sealed. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that or i am for now maybe i won't be quite so happy after i uh get them listed all right y'all one one more round of stuff uh this is candace's very speculative plush buy well um it was another buy that was kind of late in the day and she looked she was done and i started looking and looked like some decent plush so i asked her how much and she said 50 cents a piece like she's ready to be done you know and i think we got some good ones um 
These have Hamleys on them. I'm not sure what that is. That sounds is. like some British. It looks like some British stuff. Is this the Queen? Hamleys, London. Is this the Queen? I don't. I don't think so. I don't think the Queen dressed like that. Well, the Queen's also not a bear. <laughs> so I mean, I, I get that, but yeah, it's I definitely think, some royal thing. I though. think that's a guard or something because well, like it's a, got a crown on the shirt. Well, they might. You don't think the royal guard has a crown on their shirt? I don't no, know. No, I don't. I think they have a no. We got a know. couple of uh, Peter Rabbit plush. Oh, that's cool. A Paddington bear. M, M and S. S. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Were these made in London, or are they just like that's the where the company is? You they, think? These have London on the tag. Well, they were made in China, but the, uh, okay, it okay. has Hamleys London on it. Okay, but they're made in China. It's got like a Hamleys tag. Um, couple of. I bet some of our viewers know what Hamleys means, huh? Oh yeah, I'm sure. That, that's probably like dime a dozen over there. Oh look. So what? we have two curious George. He's got a little backpack and I didn't know this was in there. He's got a banana. Oh, oh, that's cool. And his little backpack. I thought you were going to go $200. No. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been the next best thing. Oh, if we would have pulled $200 out of a curious George backpack, even I wouldn't believe this. <laughs> and I, I got this. Um, oh, that's cool. I don't know what, what franchise. Uh, that must be. It's Lion, Lion King, King, right? Yeah. yeah. Because it has the Disney Store patch on it. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, 50 cents each for these, not all together. There's got to be something good in there. Oh, yeah. We didn't look any of it up. No. Y'all could tell us how good or bad we did, maybe. Uh, these are two Cabbage Patch from 1982. And I knew I was going to buy her before I even knew the price. Well, you know, within reason. Because my very first Cabbage Patch was this one. Her name was Moira Dara. <laughs> is that the name from Coleco, or is That's that what you name, named that yours? Was, no, that was the name on her little burst. Of okay. Um, so yeah, I paid five dollars for both of them together, so two fifty a piece. Those things are the the limbs on these things are so ugly. Like they look like they have some kind of what what is going on? It looks like he's got babies have rolls. No, babies have rolls like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, uh, yeah, that's true. I guess it's kind of weird. Especially babies growing in a cabbage patch. <laughs> uh, Lonnie picked up this little glove for 75 cents. At that cents. church sale. Yeah. Uh, it looks like it is like literally never been I used. I know. Like maybe not even put on someone's hand. So, well, we can't, we, we better not claim that. Oh, too late. Now you ruined it. <laughs> it's been used. <laughs> <laughs> used glove. Um, we got this at like our very first sale we went to this morning. I didn't even know what the team was. I'm like, Lonnie, is this a team? What is this? Paid a dollar for it. Tampa Bay Rays or Stingrays. It's Rays. a 59.50 hat. 59.50. Yep. And then we went to an estate sale. It was 25% off day. So I got all these cookbooks. It came out to like a dollar sixty-eight, and I'm like, here, just take my two dollars. Ooh, big spender. I know. <laughs> And that is everything we bought today. No, it's today. not. It's not? No, there's something right behind you in that bo that bin behind you. Oh, I thought that was from before. No, that was the first sale. Oh. The, the, we actually, that was the absolute first sale we went to. Well, let me get that up here. Okay. That is my... I actually did plug it in to make sure it, it powered on. That's the speaker for it. This is like a, a, a base scanner. It's a Pro 2040 uh, scanner. Hmm. And it does come with the power supply. Is that like a police scanner? It can be. Okay. Yeah, it's just it. It scans all a, bu a whole bunch of different frequencies. Mm -hmm. it even has this little uh, external speaker thing that I guess plugs in. I think it plugs in right here. Yeah, external speaker. Yes, yeah, it just plugs in right here. And I don't. I guess it doesn't need power. It probably gets, it's only got one thing coming out of it. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I paid $10 for this. I did make sure to see it power up and work before I bought it though. Do you know what that's worth? I don't. Okay. I'm guessing 40 to $50 though. Okay. But it could, if it's more than that, it might surprise me. If it's less than that, it's going to make me cry a little bit. Not much. So we are, uh. We're exhausted. We're exhausted. It's been a long day. We left at like 6.30 this morning and it's now 5.15. The only time we stopped was to eat lunch. We sat down and ate lunch and went right back out. And did it again. And then the stuff we got, the stuff we got today, I, I feel like it was a good day. This afternoon. The stuff we got earlier today, the garage sales, I feel like it was good. Mm -hmm. It was a good day. Yep. And then we went and did a private pick. 
and we did even better yeah there and we spent almost double the money that we spent at garage sales the total amount spent today on sourcing was like 14 probably right just under 1500 yeah yeah all told yep. but uh we are going to have to give uh we're gonna have to wait till another haul video to show you all that other stuff because we cannot show any more today. We're just exhausted. We're to fall down. We're so tired. It's time to go get a drink and relax. I'm going to get a glass of wine. We, we bought some wine and some rum last night. Yeah. And we're going to go it's enjoy like we that. Knew this day was going to happen. <laughs> it's been a day, man. Yeah. It's been fun, but we are tired. But uh, yeah, thanks a bunch for watching. And we will see y'all again very soon. Hope y'all had a good sourcing weekend too. Bye, y'all. Bye.